four page booklet so to the left of the document we have the back or page four and to the right we have the front or page one this is so as whenever the document is folded the section that says four will go to the back while one will remain at the front we then have pages two and three on the second page so the orientation is a landscape and for columns we are going to separate each page into two so we go to more columns and we select two if we wish to have a line separating each section, we'd simply select a line between and in the preview you'll see where a line comes up between each section, apply it to the whole document, then we select OK. So we have the back, the front, then the middle, which is 2 and 3. So here we're doing our preliminaries, changing our font style and size and our line spacing option. We then go to page layout and we select columns. We then go to more columns and we are going to separate our page into two columns. So we have the option of having a line between our document but for this document we will not be using the line we then select ok for the orientation we are going to select landscape so here we have our document which is separated into two columns as shown on the ruler line so to the left of the document i am going to insert a picture this is the back of the document so you can have a little picture saying thank you a little quote you can probably have your thank yous it is up to you so this is the back of the document so here we have a picture that simply says thanks for coming we go to wrap text we are changing that to square so we can easily move our picture to wherever we want it So now we're going to insert a text box so we go to insert then we go to draw a text box so we're simply going to draw the text box where we want to insert the words so we have prepared by so whoever is preparing the document you can go ahead and place this in a text box to the bottom of your document Please note you do not have to use the exact words or the exact font style or color that I am using. Be creative. So to remove the line from the text box, we point to the line, we right click, we select format shape, then we go to line color, then we're going to change that to no line and select close. So here we're seeing that the line that was around the text is now gone. document we are going to move on to the front so again we're inserting a text box and please note that you do not have to use text box but for display work I find that it is easier to maneuver text whenever it is placed in a text box so if you want to change the position of the document or you want to change the size text box will allow you to do that easily
we have prepared a portion of text that we want shown on our first page then we're moving on to removing the line so we go to format shape line color no line and close So here we're noticing that our cursor is still at the back of the page so we're simply going to select enter until it gets to the second portion of the page which is the front so we're entering in an attempt to have the cursor move to the front of the document or the right So now we're inserting another portion of text. So now we're going to insert a picture that was previously found. So we're preparing the document for an awards ceremony. So we're going to insert a picture that matches or fits the theme of the booklet. So here we have our first page, we have our venue, our date, our time, and our guest speaker. This is not set in stone, you can have whatever you want to have on your front page. We're now on to the second page of our booklet, and this is where we're going to have the middle of our program. So this was pre-prepared, so for the first section we have the program, we have opening prayer, item, principles, and dress, and so on. Then we enter over to the third section where we are going to have a list of awardees. 
so now we're just going to adjust our leg spacing we do not want the list to go over to the third page so we are going to select 1.5 to have it stay on the second page here we're changing the font style for our headings and as i said before you can be creative change the color if you so desire change the size change the size it's up to you this way So here we're going to fill effects and we are going to choose two colors to jazz it up a bit. So for the second color we're choosing a light green and then for the first color it is white. So if it is something that you like you can go ahead. Now for the text box we are going to remove the fill. So we are going to right click again and for fill we're going to select no fill this will have the white background that is in the text box removed so for each of these text box we're going to remove the fill select no fill close same for the back of the program right click format shape fill no fill close we're making a few adjustments to our picture Probably we can have it faded or whatever you desire. So here we have a better look at our four page booklet. So remember for our four page booklet it is separated into two columns. On the first page to the left we have the back of the booklet. To the right we have the front of the booklet. On the second page, we have the middle of the document. So in all, we need two pages. Always remember that for our booklet or our program, it is to be typed in landscape orientation. Also, be creative with your colors. Ensure that the color scheme matches the theme of the booklet that you're preparing. <laughs> 